My first experience was uh, many decades ago when my grandmother at the table was saying to me and to my older brother not to leave uh, food uh, in the plate because you know there are children in the world they don't have anything and uh, you are disrespectful if you leave food in the way in a, on the plate so this was my first experience so i grew up like that i think uh, is a um, is uh, something that uh, it's a culture cultural thing you know it's not uh, something charity or whatever you want to give uh, to this uh, it's a culture because uh, you th i think uh, you should um, um, think about food waste in a in a different way uh, and maybe switch the word waste with something different because uh, talking about uh, an overripe banana or breadcrumbs or uh, some uh, uh, vegetables that are not uh, picture create you know perfect you know you have to just uh, ask the right the, the right question uh, to these ingredients and uh, that's why I since the beginning decide to involve uh, all the most influential chefs in the world to show everyone what they can do with all these kind of ingredients and uh, you know uh, in all these years we create something amazing um, through our knowledge and we transfer our knowledge to all the volunteers. So first of all is fight the waste because numbers like 860 million people are starving, are, they, have, they need it. Um, 1.5 are overweight and 1.3 tons of food is wasted every year, 33%. So first of all, feed the planet means fight the waste. Second, transfer to the people this kind of attitude to the volunteers our knowledge and at the end we also feed the need, some needy but it's not our priority and through what through beauty and that's why I, I want to build these places as a, you know very spiritual way and, and build these places through beauty art architecture design to rebuild the dignity of the people. Easy. Cup of milk, warm cup of milk, bread crumbs, a little bit of sugar, and a touch of chocolate of coffee, depends what I had. That was my favorite meal before going to bed when I was a kid. We already transform uh, the, um, this, this, uh, this memory into bread is gold. You know, it's a, it's a, a mixture of technique uh, using bread, milk and sugar. And uh, even the book that is going to come out in uh, next fall uh, is going to be called Bread is Gold. You know, this kind of uh, ordinary ingredient and exceptional recipes. Right now, uh, every kind of food that is good is uh, something that I love. Um, now my mom is no more with me, my dad no more with me, so my family traveling around the world are my friends. My friend as, uh, you know, my friend as chefs. And uh, even today I was at uh, Spago and, uh, you know, Wolfgang cooked for me a special dinner, you know, a special lunch, uh, and uh, it was emotional, you know, for me. A lot, a lot. I'm, uh, I've been in LA in uh, these last uh, five, six days and uh, you know, I try many different uh, restaurants like Roy, Choi, um, you know, the, uh, I was at the Bel Air with uh, Chef Hugo, uh, you know, like um, yesterday night at Providence, you know, I try so many different uh, places and you know, I say, 
you know, I usually had this idea that San Francisco was the, the gourmet place in the West Coast. But uh, you have to check uh, LA and the sparkle there's right now because uh, it's growing so much. Buy the right quantity, buy seasonal and uh, bring the food back. So give to yourself um, half an hour every couple of days and uh, you know you go you go back home you cook whatever you have and when it is over you dedicate yourself another half an hour to shop seasonal because you save the money cook whatever you have so you save the money on uh, on uh, on food and you don't waste anything and you help the environment so better than this Thank you. Thank you. You know, uh, Asian food is one of my favorite. Actually, I have to say that uh, um, I always compare the obsession uh, about uh, the quality of the ingredients uh, that they have in Japan is very close uh, to the obsession of the quality of the ingredients we have in Italy. So Italian and Japanese uh, uh, culture are very similar for me because uh, I d we use the technique a little bit uh, to uh, to touch the ingredients but to let them express very well so this is uh, something that uh, in a, in fact we have uh, we have uh, I have in the kitchen uh, uh, three Japanese a Korean and uh, a Chinese uh, <laughs> uh, chef <laughs>